Hey everybody, uh, I am super excited to be performing here. I feel like this is the perfect audience for me because there are just enough black people in this room to make me feel like if these jokes don't go well, I could always start an R&B group. It's a win-win situation. Uh, I'll tell you all a little bit about myself. Uh, when I'm not busy being funny as fuck, I am actually a teacher at a high school that's a true story, I do teach high school, which tends to surprise people because I look like I just got cut from the JV basketball team. <laughs> uh, teaching high school at my age is sort of a strange experience because I, I sort of had this very like clear sense of the differences between high school and now and when I was in high school. Like, when I was in high school, we didn't read any sissy books about vampires with commitment issues. <laughs> We read about real problems, you know what I mean? Like real shit that affected our community. Like orphan wizards with commitment issues. <laughs> it's very different. Even with like communication, like communic like Facebook. When I was in high school, Facebook was just a pervert that had a bunch of my friend's pictures in his wallet. When he poked you, there was no option to decline. <laughs> You accepted it and you didn't tell your father. That was the agreement. <laughs> Even Twitter, like when I was in high school, Twitter was just a little special ed boy that passed out water at all the basketball games. <laughs> we only spoke to him in 140 characters, but that was just so he could keep up. <laughs> More water, please, Twitter. <laughs> Pound sign, very thirsty. <laughs> it's my mother's favorite joke, she's very proud. <laughs> I, I'm not sure if you all can tell, but I am not a particularly manly man. I'm not uh, one of those guys. Uh, it may be fairly obvious by the fact that I look like a backup dancer for B2K. <laughs> not a manly, I'm not a street dude. I, uh, I was hanging out at a project building the other day, which was a really scary experience for me. It was wild, because it was like debris scattered everywhere and little kids running around without parents people fighting each other, just easily one of the scariest places I've ever been. Some of you actually may have heard of it. It's called Walmart. <laughs> Those Walmart projects are the worst. Stay away. I'm just waiting for the point where Walmart finally gets designated as its own bad neighborhood. <laughs> like people shout it out before they get in a fight. Walmart, motherfucker! Aisle six, bitch! Toiletries! <laughs> You gotta act like you know. <laughs> I was raised on rollback prices. <laughs> like people are scared to go shopping and shit. Like, come on, man. You know you can't wear those khaki pants and that blue polo. Those is Walmart colors. <laughs> Trying to get us killed. <laughs> Angelina Jolie travels from Walmart to Walmart, adopting little Walmart babies. <laughs> and then naming them after video game characters. <laughs> Maddox, Mario, Mega Man, meet your new mama. <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not a manly man. I do have tattoos, which I think are pretty cool. Uh, I got them for the bitches. It's working out fabulously. Thank you for asking. It's weird though, because for most people, like putting tattoos on your body tends to make you look tougher, tends to make you look more menacing. It didn't really work out that way for me. Like, I feel like putting tattoos on my body is sort of like putting a smiley face of chocolate chips on pancakes. <laughs> it just made me more delicious. <laughs> That's my time, y'all. My name is Lysa.